Okay, I wanted to show you the tack room setup. I actually just organized it. So I want to show you kind of how I did it. I apologize for the echo in here. And I'm gonna put links to everything in the description below. Okay, so I've got my saddle blanket set up here. And I know you can build these out of like two by fours or whatever, but I kind of wanted something uh, that I could always move around. So this comes as a set. Uh, there's three here. You can hang three on this. And then there's also a, another piece for another three, but all, all I've got is three. So that's all I need. And I really like how I can just swing it out of the way like so. And then I've got my saddles over here. Got my cowboy. Got all my head stalls and my reins right here as well. And while I was at it, I also set up these extra hooks so I don't have to run and get the drill and stuff every single time. Uh, I need to hang something up. And then on this side, I've got all my cinches, my halters, lead ropes. Then I just have a couple shelves, uh, basic plastic shelves there. And I also wanna show you this fly spray right here. This has been the best I've found, this, this brand right here, the Prana. And I really like it, it's more on the oily side. Just make sure you read all the uh, warning, warning label and everything, just to kind of tell you to be extra careful uh, whenever you handle it, don't let it get on your skin and whatnot. But this has got more of an oily substance to it than what I usually use other brands. So it really makes it, give, you know, gives my horses a really nice uh, shiny coat. And I only have to use it like every other day. And we're in the east, we're in Virginia, and there's gnats and flies like most other places in the country. And uh, really bad this time of year, it's July. So I only have to do it every other day. I make sure I spray their tail and stuff down as well. And I can tell a big difference in the tail swishing. Even from a distance, there's not not near as much uh, going on there. I even, I like this little addition too. I bought these separate hooks like this. You just hook it there and you can just kind of put small stuff that would normally fall through the cracks up here. You can just kind of hang it on the side. So this ain't much, there's lots of room. I, I can still do for expansion, but at least this can give you uh, a general idea. And she's, Pearl's coming in to check on things. To give you a general idea of, um, of what the setup is, maybe give you some inspiration. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you later. Have While Pearl's in the sun here, I wanted to show you, I just sprayed her down uh, here a few minutes ago, but you can kind of see the oily sheen. Uh, in the sun here. So it's it's nice and oily and even I even sprayed her mane just to kind of keep keep the bugs out to minimum. Here's her itchy spot, her particular spot. She's got even some bug bites there. It just feels so good, don't it? This horse ain't in want for much, that's for sure. She has got it made.